Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make a karela aloo bhaja or a karela aloo ki sabzi, and uh, which is essentially bitter gourd and potatoes tossed together and then stir fried in spices. Very classic dish from Bihar as well as from Calcutta. And bhaja is a very common dish where it's essentially a stir fry tossed along with a minimal amount of spices. So without wasting any time, let me just dive right in and show you how to make this dish. So to begin making, the first thing I'm going to do is to steam cook my karela, which is the bitter gourd, into my pressure cooker. Add it into my pressure cooker and then steam cook it for about just one whistle. And then I'm going to turn off the heat. Just going to add in some, a little bit of salt and, and then just about a tablespoon or two of water. We'll give it a stir. And then I'm going to cover the pressure cooker and pressure cook it for just about two whistles max. Turn off the heat. After that, we'll release the pressure immediately as well. So let's just wait for that. Great. So now that the two whistles are over, I'm just going to go ahead and release the pressure by placing a fork underneath and then release the pressure immediately so the karela does not get overcooked. And um, another important thing is that you can also run it under cold running water and then it'll uh, under the tap water and then the pressure will get released immediately. So let me just release the pressure. Great, so now that the pressure is released, I'm just going to go ahead and open the pressure cooker. And um, notice that, in you will notice that the karela is nice and green. Uh, notice the fresh green colors of the karela. It's just perfectly steamed and it's good enough. And it's good enough to now stir fry it in a little bit of oil and it'll get the nice flavors of the masalas as well. I haven't removed the skin of the karelas. And in fact, I didn't even remove the pulp of the karelas as well, just left. If it's tender, allowed it to be. If it was too hard and it had seeds, then I just removed the seeds. Otherwise, keep the skin. Do not uh, peel away the skin of the karelas. It's extremely important because that's where all the nutrition lies. Great, so now um, I'm gonna keep this to the side and then stir fry our potatoes and then add in the stir cooked karela into the potatoes, okay? Great, so we'll just bring in a pan, keep this to the side. We'll turn on the heat. So once the pan is preheated, just gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of oil. Need about uh, two tablespoons of oil is good enough. You can add mustard oil, you can add uh, regular oil, but mustard oil is my favorite, so because it brings in a great taste to the baja. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the cumin seeds to it. And after that, some finely chopped garlic. It's completely optional, but I love adding garlic to my karela because it brings in taste. And uh, lots of onions as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stir fry the onions for very little bit until it just softens. Um, it'll hardly take a minute. I just want it to soften because I'm gonna be adding the potatoes and the potatoes are gonna be getting roasted and cooked as well. So in that process, the onions will get cooked a little more and maybe lightly browned as well. So let's just saute the onions until it becomes just about soft, okay? Don't overcook them, don't brown them, nothing at this stage. Great. So the onions have softened and I have some potatoes that I've peeled and cut into wedges and soaked it in water. Uh, soaking it in water does two things. One is that it sort of takes in the moisture and cooks uh, faster and also that it doesn't discolor as well. Okay. This is perfect. I'm going to go ahead and add in the salt and we'll add in the rest of the spices much later. So I'm going to cover the pan and then cook the potatoes until it's about three-fourth cook. And after that, we'll keep it open and then stir fry it to make a nice crispy sabji, okay? So the aloo has been, you know, steam cooking and I've been stir frying it while it was cooking uh, inside and uh, it has cooked beautifully. And if I just press it, it, it's firm, but yet not that soft, okay? So at this stage, I'm just going to go ahead and add in my karela, okay? Which is steamed karela, and then all the masalas, okay? So, and that's the turmeric powder. So I'm going to add in some garam masala. Lots of coriander powder. and red chili powder, yum. A little bit more salt if required, just give it a taste, okay? And then I'm gonna add in some amchur, which is gonna do the magic to this baja, okay? I'm gonna give it a stir, 
and saute this for another about five minutes on open. Uh, you can also cover the pan and so that all the masalas get absorbed. I'm also going to add in just a little bit more mustard oil now at this stage so that it brings in that great taste, okay? So let's just go ahead and add in some mustard oil. And um, just stir fry this for another three to four minutes. Um, you can cover the pan as well and then and cook it on low so that all the masalas get well absorbed. I also like to add a little bit of jaggery at this stage because I like that khatta mita taste to my dishes. But this jaggery is completely optional and you can omit it, om omit it if you don't like it a little bit sweet. I love my khatta mita taste in my karela sabzis especially because um, it sort of balances that bitterness but at the same time gives in a great taste. So that's it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that, give it a stir. And uh, instead of potatoes, you can also add raw bananas, um, uh, done the similar way. You don't have to cook the raw bananas. You can add arbi, you can add um, uh, sweet potato as well, and uh, instead of, uh, you know, regular potatoes and make the baja. And this is absolutely divine. I just love my karela sabzi to be like this. And if you notice, the onions are also nicely caramelized along with the potatoes and that's exactly how I want it. So that's it. In another five minutes, the sabzi would be done. So I've been stir frying the vegetable for about close to about five minutes now, and um, I gave it a taste, and the masala is just perfectly mm, absorbed into the karela. Yum, just yum. Okay, perfect. The amchur powder and that slight jaggery taste just brings the sabzi to the next level. So now the karela basin sabzi is done. You can serve it along with some curry, hot steamed rice topped with ghee and, um, and just like that along with the sabzi, it tastes really divine. You can also serve it along with some fulkas and some curry pakoda as well and it's completely your choice. So do give the sabzi a try in your kitchen when you do. Don't forget to take a snapshot of it. Tag us across all your social channels because I'd love to hear from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.